Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. I got a request from the comments section today. And yes, I do still sometimes get to read the comments section. I know some people have been mad that I don't respond very often these days. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. For those who do not know, I'll reiterate this. Uh, the main reason is because at my workplace, they recently got a lot stricter about their internet policy, which means I can't use YouTube at work, which means I can't read the comment section as its stuff is coming out, which means by the time I do get to the video, it's several hours old, and I feel kind of silly just jumping into uh, into any of the uh, comments after that point. So there's that. I do sometimes still get to read them, and then sometimes I come home from work, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to jump into my second job, and I miss it entirely. I apologize about that. Again, going to Discord is one of the best ways to get a hold of me. But I did happen to look through one this week, and we found something called Time Challenge by XXBryson1XX. This challenge has a disease that mutates a lot and a ticking time bomb within it. Great, let's give it a shot. Um, okay, so it's a super mutation. Uh, so do I jump in on that and say, you know what, let's go for like Darwinism and uh, really have a lot of mutation chance? Or do I go for Creationist to try and slow it down? I say we go balls to the walls and just have some fun with it. All right, ATP boost genetic mimic oxide extreme file and symptostasis normal difficulty called ACN five B danger within your long dormant disease is very powerful V powerful sorry but has a ticking time bomb within your disease is very unstable and will mutate very commonly. This, by the way, is typically the sort of um, thing you will find in a lot of the uh, the majority of scenarios out there. Pretty brief descriptions, very basic stuff, like someone sees a box you're supposed to fill and they'll put something very basic in there. I'm not trying to insult the author in any way, um, but this is pretty typical, actually. I, I know that I curate a lot of really good scenarios or a lot of in-depth scenarios um, based on people's recommendations, but this is uh, this is what you'll find on most of the, uh, the Steam Workshop when you go looking around. It's stuff like this, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it means you really have to give it a chance, you know? Transmissions. We have a few new options here. Hello, we have air, we have water. We have heat resistance in the transmissions. That's interesting. Viral infectiousness one. Virus is able to infect easier with just a little bit of infectivity. And we have cold resistance. So what the heck is going to be in the abilities, I wonder? Arid tolerance, mildly arid climates, humidity tolerance, humid environments, animals, livestock. Not typical at all. All right, symptoms. We have nausea. That's pretty normal. Coughing. Pretty normal. Rash. Insomnia. Symptom unlock one. A gating mechanism in the symptoms. Mm, all right. And viral instability one. Again, the collapse. It's collapsis. Uh, not usually in the symptoms, usually in abilities. So what do we even have for abilities then? I'm curious. We have auto pop. Auto, automotically uh, pops the bubbles. I mean, sure, some people might like that. I personally don't find it very difficult just to pop the bubbles or pause when in danger, but there's that. Genetic strengthening, harder to cure. Plague boost gets a boost to most stats. I mean, that's a pretty good boost for 10 DNA. I'll grab that. And ability unlock level 1 unlocks level 1 abilities. Okay, severity boost, lethality boost, climate boost, anti-cure boost, mutation boost, and infection boost, which is not as good as the original boostage. So there's that. Okay, so there's gating mechanisms. I'm struggling to find the theme here, though. Time challenge. I mean, is the goal to get, like, a really difficult score? Like, if you don't beat this within, like, three months, it's a loss kind of a thing? I don't know. I do not know. We're going to go for some air transmissions, level 1 and 2. They're actually super duper cheap, so we're going to grab some air uh, tolerance while we are at it. Just because I think that will be useful. That's without the trans stasis, by the way, and they're still that freaking cheap. All right, let's go for more arid tolerance. We should start spreading a heck of a lot faster in Saudi Arabia. Symptom unlock leveled one unlocked for free. Awesome. We'll pick up the rash and the nausea. This unlocks diarrhea, vomiting, sweating, and fever, which can be lethal. None of those are necessarily things that I am very eager to obtain. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick up a little bit of uh, level 1 uh, water transmission. I'll pick up some cold. No, I won't. I'll pick up some humidity tolerance because I think that that could be good as we start spreading in the direction of India. Vomiting mutated for free. Vomiting is not too bad, so I'm okay with this. 
So basically, it's a scenario that's supposed to go by pretty quick. It's not really a thematic one based on some sort of pop culture reference or anything. It's just a scenario where you can grab certain uh, abilities and stuff, and it's supposed to go much, much faster. I'm guessing that's sort of the point of it. We'll go ahead and grab a level of cold resistance real quick, though I do think that I need to get some severity because we're spreading pretty quickly, and I'm not getting extra DNA. So we'll pick up the coughing and the pneumonia because those are usually pretty good. Got into New Zealand rather quickly. Uh, let's also go for the sneezing, because that's pretty good in terms of infectivity. Sweating, which is good in the cold countries. And Diorria has mutated for free as well. Boom, ba doom 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 So we're supposed to get a lot of freebies. Maybe I shouldn't be wasting any DNA on the uh, symptoms, but I needed that severity since we're starting to hit our peak and actually getting around the world. Um, we could go for an infection boost, but I don't think it's that good. New abilities, we'll pick that up. Mutation disruption, less mutations. Or... Slow the curing progress. Uh, I mean, it all, all sounds well and good and all, but I think I'll just go for the water transmission. We could go for the extreme bio aerosol. They have detected me, which was sort of to be expected by the fact that we have fever, which means our lethality is up there. We'll grab some more cold resistance to make sure that I can spread faster in places like Russia. Can we get rid of the fever? Because I'm a little concerned about it. Skin lesions are quite good, but I'm going to devolve the fever and reduce our lethality so that they do not lock down their borders in Greenland and so on. Um, because that would suck. Dysentery. Well, that's pretty effective. Quickly, get rid of that. Um, that's that's a little bit that's a little bit more lethality than I think I could probably handle at this particular stage. Uh, let's go for the extreme bio aerosol. There is another level of cold resistance, which is probably good if we started off in Saudi Arabia, which we did. There's the fever again. Not sure that I'm going to have the time to remove that again. So instead, we'll leave it as it is. Let's grab some more cold resistance. That leaves life uh, cold resistance level four thirty eight DNA. That's a lot. That's a lot more than I think I could probably handle at this stage. Instead, we're going to go for a climate boost. Um, and a, uh, bleh, 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 boosts resonance, resistance, resistance, um, I don't know, do we want to go for level two? I don't see the point, I mean, less mutations, slow down the curing, I mean, that's good, but they haven't really started that, I'm mostly just concerned about not actually getting into, uh, Greenland as I am supposed to, there's paranoia, yeah, we really are getting an absolute crap ton of mutations, aren't we, but it looks like we did get into Greenland, what are we missing at this point? Sweden! Only Sweden would dare to hold out on us. All right, well, let's go for some humidity tolerance. Then we have different moisture tolerance. Your virus is able to tolerate different moisture amounts. Boing, we'll grab the virus infectiousness. That's level two. I mean, it's just a little bit of an infectivity boost. Doesn't actually do much. Viral instability, level two, means that we're gonna start getting a load of mutations, which means we can pretty much just sit back and let the scenario play itself out. There's dysentery, there's pulmonary edema. We're literally getting one every five seconds at this point, except... We need to unlock new symptoms. There we go. I'll just go ahead and unlock the next couple of levels. Neural Pathway Merge. Your Plaug merges with the Neural Pathway. Givig. It access to the brain. Less of a chance to be discovered and makes mutations rarer. Do I want them to be rarer at this point, or am I quite happy with that? There's a total organ failure. I'm a little concerned that we're going to start killing pretty darn quickly here. There's the coma. Uh, Finland's looking pretty good. Sweden is looking sort of okay. It's still growing. A little concerned that we're going to start getting a little too much lethality, but... Nope, nope, I think we're going to be fine. Alright, we got 112 points. Cannibalism! That's been added in here. Brain takeover, level 2. Doskovard. Doskovard. Uh, let's go for... You know what? Let's go for a mutation boost and really just jump in on it. Ability unlock level 2. New patient 0. Infect a random country. STD. Just an STD. I don't know what that does, but it's a thing. Level 3. Genetic hook. Makes your plague's DNA less recognizable, causing it to be less likely, likely to be noticed and changes cure rates. Then we have natural immunity resistance. Uh, sure, we'll grab that. And then we have a level four. Then we have hidden plague. Or sorry, hidden plague. Harder to discover. Then we have climate resistance. Harder to discover is a little late. By the time that I can afford that, that's like way, it's way too late for that. Climate resistance with just a couple of slashes. Chocolate milk sales surge. Why? Why do people like chocolate milk so much? It's not that good, but apparently people really like it now. They dig it super good. New chocolate milk shots. What? I'm confused. Okay. Um, where's my drug resistance? That's what I want to know. Let's see. We have suicidal. We have biohazard. We have difficult to cure. We'll go for incurable. Uh, we'll go for climate resistance. Yeah, and we'll slow down the curing process just to make sure that I don't absolutely lose here. Is make sure that we don't uh, overdo our lethality here in the USA, which is the only country that is still holding out. Hey, for once, the USA is actually the one who's holding out on me. That never happens. No healthy people left in the world, and with this much lethality, it's going to be a straight-up win. 
So this particular scenario doesn't really have any particular theme besides, hey, look, you can get a whole load of different abilities that'll do some stuff for you. It's like super mutating. It kind of reminds me of, what, what was that uh, What was that scenario that's like totally random? Like you literally just press play and you can't get anything. It's just, it's just a simulation. You click the button and you just let it mutate itself to oblivion. Uh, it's kind of like that, but on a little bit lesser scale. You have a lot more control over it, but the, the mutation will overwhelm you at some point. So it does require a certain level of strategy. But otherwise, I mean, this is this is actually pretty standard in terms of uh, what kind of quality scenarios you're going to find uh, across the Plague Inc. community. There's a lot of them out there. And this one's not even really that bad. It's pretty decent. It's just it, it doesn't really get much attention. It's uh, the kind of scenario that people aren't going to really think about. It's going to be like, eh, we'll just, you know, skim over that one. But look, this one wasn't half bad. So really, the lesson here is go through the Plague Inc. scenarios and don't just write them off. You'd be surprised. There are hidden gems out there. There are some scenarios that are actually pretty darn decent, but because they didn't have a pop culture reference, get completely ignored, and I think that that is sad. I'm going to go ahead and say that, yes, I did enjoy the time challenge. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.